For today's campus files, I have no idea what they've got planned for me, but I can imagine it's going to be very shocking, whatever it is. Okay, Erwin, um, this looks pretty science fiction-y. What is this exactly? Okay, this is called a Van de Graaff generator. Van de Graaff generator. Okay, by some Van de Graaff guy who invented That's right. it. Okay, That's right. and what does it generate? It generates a really big voltage. A voltage. And you have this here to sort of demonstrate for students the, the characteristics of electricity or? Uh, or? Or to give them an example of static electricity and also some of the impacts that a high voltage can have on a person. High, example, high voltage. High voltage. Okay. For example, in your electrical outlet, yeah, about 110 volts. Okay. Yeah. Right? yeah By that, comparison, yeah, this one, 300 to 400 thousand volts. 300 to 400 thousand volts. Right. Okay. Uh, but is somebody said, is it? It's not the volts, it's the amps, or it's not the amps, it's the ohms or something. How does that work? Okay. Uh, you can be killed with a small voltage okay. if there's a lot of current. Okay. Okay. So even a electrical outlet, mm -hmm. stick your fingers in there, that's and, it. and it can kill you. Okay. Right yeah. at 110 volts. Right. This is a really high voltage, mm -hmm. but very small current, sort of like a monster carpet spark. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. A carpet spark can be 20, 30 thousand volts. A carpet spark. A carpet Just spark. Just shuffling. Yeah. Yeah, and you touch the doorknob and. Bzz. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's a good chunk of voltage, but no current. Oh, okay. So you feel a zap, but it doesn't do any damage. Okay, and this is, this is like a carpet spark. Just a really big one, like a big one. A big carpet spark. That's right. Okay, you're sure about this? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. And uh, so we can demonstrate, and you can see it, and you can feel the effect that it has on your muscles, because when it zaps, you'll feel your muscles respond to it. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, put your hand on it. Put my hand on, on this. Go. Right. So now what will happen yes. is you will be charged up to the same voltage as this wall. Okay. 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 So as long as you're not touching me or something else connected to ground, you're fine. Nothing okay. will happen. I'm not going to touch anything. Okay. Okay. Well, I can feel it tingling. Yeah. And I can see what hair you have is starting to rise. Yeah, starting to be a bad hair day. Okay. Now, okay. So now you're charged up. Yeah. To the voltage of this ball. Right. I can turn it off. Yes. You're still charged up. Yes. To that. If you like, you can discharge the ground. Now, fluorescent light bulb. Yes. Is another demonstration. Right. I use. It uses a high voltage to excite the phosphor inside the tube, and that's right. why it lights up, right? So we can use this and just demonstrate how that voltage developed across the tube, right? Can actually light up the tube, even though it's not connected to... We're gonna light up a fluorescent bulb. Yeah. So we get the point, the metal point goes. Okay. It's glowing. Exactly. It looks like uh, like a golf cart of some sort. This is what's called an ATV, yeah. all-terrain vehicle, or quad. It's sometimes called. Right. Uh, this one started life as a Polaris Sportsman 500. Okay. Uh, still is that to some extent. It looks like it, but the drivetrain is U of M. Okay. Okay. So the outside Polaris, the inside U of M. We okay. have built this into the electric. This is an electric ATV. Hundred percent. This is a Polaris Ranger. Uh, it's a lot bigger, it's bigger. As you can see. Yeah. Uh, carries more load. And what we're interested, this is the one that we want to build hybrid. Okay. Okay. So it'll, it will, we won't use this gas motor. We'll use a smaller one connected to a generator, like I said, that can generate electricity to charge the batteries. And then electric drive motors. Right. There's probably going to be more than one motor because the mechanics to do four-wheel drive uses a lot of energy just to move all that mechanics. Right, and probably more batteries. Sure, so if you can eliminate a bunch of the power gobbling mechanics, right. you're more efficient. And so we can do that by using more motors to get to the four-wheel drive 
and less mechanics. So the, that project is what you're working on now, turning this into a four-wheel drive ATV that's electric. Right, and that project is starting now. Okay. Just got this and this is the next stage.